What up, YouTube? Puff Bear 359. What up, fellas, ladies, children of all ages? Puff Bear coming at you with a mail day. Uh, what do I got here? I opened a two boxes of 2013 Bowman Chromes. Uh, hobby boxes, not, um, jump, uh, not, uh, what do they call those? Bowman's? No, what do they call those Walmart things? That, blaster box. They weren't blaster boxes. I, uh, yeah. spent a little money and got some, um, nice two boxes of, uh, Bowman Chrome hobby boxes from 2013. So I'll show you the hits from that. Uh, I'll show you a new set that I'm doing. Uh, and I picked up some of those cards. Um, and then just some, oh, and I also opened a box of 1995 SP. Uh, it was an older hobby box that I bought from one of the same guys that I bought the Bowman Chrome from. Um, and let's see what else. And then just a couple of miscellaneous cards that I bought here and there. So I should probably put those together there. And let's get a little over. All right, here we go. Um, get to the getting. Um, bought this nice card on uh, eBay. Um, Jimmy Graham, numbered 9 of 10. Um, from Topps Platinum, nice patch, autograph, and look at that refractage. I love the refractage. So, 2013 Topps, uh, beautiful card. Uh, you know, didn't have a Jimmy Graham autograph. Actually, I think I do, but it's a lower end card. But this is really nice. It's nine of ten, and I got a good deal on it. I say I always get a good deal. Because I really don't buy too many cards unless I get a good deal. Meaning, if something's overpriced, I will I will wait for it. Um, well, uh, Josh, we uh, I started this video and I went right into what's going on. But the Josh is here to my right. Say hi, Josh. Hola. And here he goes with the hola <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, Mexican. You're not Mexican. Um, but I play one on TV. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I didn't get into you saying hi, and I didn't get into what's going on. Um, so, so far, so good, guys, that use that uh, that use that use care <laughs> for you guys and gals out there that care. Um, doing well I'm in my uh, quest to become a sergeant. Uh, did good on my written test. I got my oral boards coming up after uh, the first of the year, like January 6th or something like that. So, that's going good. Uh, everything else is true to form. Uh, just like you guys do, got all my Christmas shopping done and getting ready for the holidays next uh, week. So, and just work, work, work. I took an overtime shift today, uh, working another overtime uh, midnight security detail at our local Walmart where they're hiring officers around the clock. So I, gra I get your shit and get out. All right. That's a Jeff Dunham reference. Uh, hey, Puff Bear made a Jeff Dunham residence. Right, right, Walter? All right. Yes, what is it, Jeff? All right, we got a hell of a glare going on here. Um, so I'm going to, um, I think, if I turn the camera like this, yeah, that's going to help. No, 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 no. We'll be good here like this. No, we're not going to be good like this. Uh, we'll try this. We'll see. I got a glare, so everybody in their video says, I apologize for the glare, so I'm not going to apologize. It's just what the hell we got going on here. Um, anyway, so these are... Uh, the better cards, I would say, from the box of 1995 SP. Um, nice uh, Hideo Nomo. I think I got two of these. Yes, I did. Um, I, got, I think this is called the bronze version. And this is his rookie card, by the way, because if you look on the back, it says 1994 Majors and Minors, and it says no experience. No Major League experience. Uh -oh. So I know there's a couple Dodger fans out there. And believe it or not, Hideo Nomo's... Uh, Pretty collectible, and he had a, uh, I would say, better than average career. Uh, if you disagree with me, then you disagree with me. Um, that, and I got the, I think that's, yeah, it's not the gold version, but, uh, and this is the silver version, I know that. I think this is the bronze version. And there's a silver version, which I think the silver version is the best out of all the ones you can get. So I got those two, pulled that, thought that was cool, and my tripod's acting up. Let me, let me try this uh, angle. All right, so I got those, and then some of these guys here. Uh, I got Mike Schmidt. See how these are like die cut that year with the way they the border is. I got a Mike Schmidt, uh, Cal Ripken, Woo! Uh, George Brett. That was pretty cool out of there. Uh, what are some of the other ones I got? Awesome. Uh, another Nolan uh, Nolan Ryan, uh, Cal Ripken, Nolan Ryan. I knew Nolan Ryan was in here. Got that. So that was pretty cool. Card number two. Beep. 
Man, I'm all over the map here with this. All right, and then, uh, being a Yankee guy, and I collect these guys here, of course, I was really happy to pull a Don Mattingly. I obviously have this card already, but to pull it from a pack was pretty cool from back in the day. This is the blue, uh, the red version, uh, the red one, and you'll see what I mean in a minute, because then I go and pull two Alex Rodriguez cards, and I pull the silver one and the red one, and these are in great shape. These are, I'm, I'm going to go get these graded. Um, so that's awesome too. And then I pulled two Jeters, wouldn't you know, and also a red one and a silver one. And these are both going out to get graded. Um, I think book on these is around $30 to $40. I think the silver one is more. The, uh, the silver one's definitely $40. No, the silver one's the better one. So I was pretty psyched. You guys know a Beanie Yankee guy and a Jeter collector uh, to pull these from the packs. You know, what are the odds? Uh, but I was really happy about that. So there you go. Uh, I'm there. Uh, and for the stat line on the back, for those that care, it says uh, stats for 1993 minors, 1994 minors. Um, so there you go there. Um, okay. So moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, getting to the getting. Um, I got so many piles of cards around me right now. My room is a total mess. Um, and like I said, I'm shooting for February to do my room over, um, and it's going to be definitely worth the wait, guys, because you're going to be, if you thought my original card room was nice, I am going to take that old card room video down, uh, because some of the critique that I got from that was that I swore too much in it, and I did, uh, because I was new to YouTube back then, and, um, yeah, so, you know, whatever. All right, next. Uh, I'm doing this set here, guys. This is from uh, 2013 um, Bowman Sterling. And it's the Jumbo Patch Set, number to 25. And they only come in box toppers. Okay, that sucks because that makes them more rare, I guess you could say. As I'm looking through some of the things I have here. Uh, I bought a bunch more online uh, that I didn't get yet. But uh, these are some of the ones that I did get already. Uh, like I said, Bowman Sterling, I believe it's the gold version, uh, number to 25, and they're all jumbo patches, and they're all rookies. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. Oh. They're all RC cars. You look up in the corner, it says RC. Uh, Corderell Patterson, I know how to say his name now, because I uh, my last video, I didn't know how to say his name. Uh, it's Corderell Patterson of the Vikings, and I think this kid's going to be pretty good. Like I said before, he's, his hands are um, a little right. questionable, but he's fast as lightning. So there's that there. Uh, then I picked up the Tavon Austin. Um, I picked up this Tavon Austin. This is not numbered to 25, but I picked this up for a buddy of mine, and it was in the pile here. Uh, this version is numbered to 50, but I do have the Tavon Austin number to 25. I bought it, and that's coming in the mail now. So, But that's what the one number to 50 uh, is, and I bought that for a buddy of mine. Uh, next, Kenny Stills, number to 25. Uh, this one's for the set. Nice patch there. Um, Keen and Allen. Uh, this one's number 25. Also, the Chadges. Uh, I, I got the Manti Teo coming. I got the Eddie Lacy coming. I got the Joseph Randall coming. I got, yeah. I got a bunch more coming there. Uh, Terrence, speaking of uh, Dallas, I got Terrence Williams here. Number 25 of 25. All from the same product. Like I said, going to do that set. And then I got a Justin Hunter. Uh, for the Titans, that one's also number to 25. So there you go there. That's the uh, five I got to show you now. And like I said, I think I got I bought five more that I did not receive yet. Okay, next. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys these. You guys all know I'm doing the 017 material set. Um, these are just a couple I did not show you yet. Um, Jeremy Hermita, which this one, for whatever reason, was very tough to find. Um... As Josh will tell you, um, my uh, team material set and my red refractor set, Josh, which are the two that we're concentrating on, right? Uh, they're coming. They're coming along pretty nicely. Would you say? Uh, Seems like well. I say the 07's crappier. This one? No, this is what is happening. Your red refractors, you buying ones you already have. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, like I'll be at work. And I'll, I'll look up uh, on my phone, and I'll see that there's a red refractor there. And I'll buy a 
do it. Like, who'd I buy? You bought Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, which you already had. No, I'm bidding on those. Oh. But who's the other one I just bought? Oh, Jonathan Dwyer. Okay. Remember, I bought that one for no reason. I already had it. So anyway, uh, that one I needed. Uh, Matt Holliday. Um, there's two cards for Matt Holliday. MH, MH and MH2. I already have MH2, so this is just card MH. And then I picked up the Josh Beckett, and there's a quick story about this one. Um, I thought I already had it, but I had the Papelbon. So I did. I saw this one, and I'm like, oh, I already got that one. And I didn't have it, and it ended, and it didn't sell. Because the guy had a high opening bid. Well, a week or so later, he put it back on there, and I obviously won it. So uh, that's the Josh Beckett. You know, I don't carry my checklist around with me all the time. Should. Okay, Josh, I should. should leave it in the wallet. Um, and just a... Uh, uh, Mike Alt, uh, like this kid. Um, he's from Connecticut. Um, from New Haven, Connecticut. Um, just, I got a couple of his autographs. I think he's going to be all right. Uh, anyway, so this is a tri 2000 uh, Triple Threads. Um, as I uh, mumble here, as I'm looking at something. Uh, number 30 of 50. I'm trying to talk, look at the card, and look in the camera at the glare. And I'm mumbling, Josh. Uh, Ryan Matthews, um, autograph. Got just, you know what, guys? Here's what I did with this card, and I, I bid five bucks on the card, just to have. I have a couple of his autographs, uh, Ryan Matthews. It's numbered at uh, two ninety nine. I put five bucks on it, and if I win it, I win it. If I don't, I don't. And I think I picked this card up, shipped and everything, for like three, four bucks. Believe it or not. So, it's a rookie card. Who knows? Maybe he'll turn his career around. But he's not bad. And then for the Denver Broncos, um, uh, certified rookie materials, uh, Brock Osweller. Um, this card is numbered 22 of 49. And that's nice. That looks like um, he's number six, right? Is he number six? Right? He's number six. Is he six or eight? That looks like eight. He's, no, he's a six. He's six. And this looks like it's the circle from up on the shoulder. They get the little six up on their shoulders. That looks like it could be the circle for the six. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. What do you mean it's not good? Mm. And I don't know when, but this card will be getting shipped to Texas for a buddy of mine if he's watching. Love you, Stevie. Steven. Um, I also picked up this card. Uh, Ryan Tannenhill. Um, jumbo, jumbo, um, uh, jumbo piece of the patch. Yeah, look at me. Uh, numbered four of forty-nine. I, I know a dolphin fan out there. I don't think he's a big fan of Tannehill. He's a fan of Marino. But I think he's coming along. He's a fan of Marino. Mm -hmm. Who who could you possibly be talking about, Joshua? Booby. Booby. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> you know, it was Roberto's birthday last week. <laughs> Yeah, no reaction. Okay, great. And for the life of me, I just can't figure out this, and maybe somebody out there in card world can help me out, because that to me looks like an 8, and there's something to the side of it. Now, in this picture here, Tannehill is number 17. Now, my question to you is this. Did he wear a different number jersey in preseason? No. Um, how do you know? And, I know and is, if his name is on the back... This doesn't make a T, it doesn't make an A, it doesn't make an N, it doesn't make an H, an E, that can't be. So I'm wondering what that is. So here's the card, guys. So you tell me. That's an L. <laughs> that's an L, and there's there's a dark blue next to it, so that's just the offset patch. So obviously, and that looks like an 8 and an 8, I don't know. So this one's got me miffed and stumped. And yeah, so there's that one out there. So get back to me on that, all you card guys anyway uh i picked up a chris sale number to 99 back to baseball uh autograph um from tops tier one nice patch in there with the pinstripe uh this is one of those cards where you got to see it in person to do it justice so sticker autograph with that i know a buddy that likes this guy this could find its way in his christmas basket and here's another card that i just bought uh, not a fan of the Bucks. not a fan of Doug Martin, although I wish if he was healthy, he would have helped my fantasy team a lot more than he did. Um, another card that I just bid on, guys, and I won it. Um, this is called the, this is the Shadow Box card, I think they call it, um, from Panini, from 2013 Panini Playbook. 
uh, you got your just plain jumbo uh, swatch. And then on this side, uh, it's numbered to 25. Uh, but yeah, it's got the shadow box in there. And then another card you got to see because that's a real nice thick. It's right in there behind him over his shoulder. Real nice package um, in there. So Doug Martin. Boom. So like I said, just another card for Puff to have in his collection. And you guys know that's how I roll. Alright, traditional Puff Bear 20 minute video. Um, what I'm going to do is show you the hits I got. This is uh, the hits from two boxes of 2013 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Um, I'm going to show you the refractors I got. This is all the refractors and the autographs. Um, if you guys know the product, it says on the front of the box that uh, each third box uh, contains two autographs. Of the two boxes, one of the boxes, I was lucky enough to pull two autographs in one. So I got that third box, as they say. Um, Chris Stratton. Um, gold Refractor, number to 50 for the Orioles. Uh, Steven Strasburg, Refractage. Love the Refractage. Uh, Jorge Polanco of the Minnesota Twins. Um, uh, refractor Autograph, number to 500. That was one of my autographs. Uh, Alberto Almora of the Cubbies. Uh, that's a mini, mini refractage. Um, Eric Johnson of the White Sox uh, autograph. And I absolutely love, love, love how Bowman Chrome went to the is on-card autograph. I love it. Love the on-card autograph, guys. You guys probably do too. Uh, this is not a refractage. This is just a base, but it's a Bowman Chrome RC card of Puig, which I will have to put in someone's Christmas package that lives in Florida. Dork. Uh, blue refractor of Gio Gonzalez, number to 150. No, 250, 250, 250. That's why I had to look. Uh, Miguel Andahar of the Yankees, um, refractage. Derek Holland, refractage for the Texas Rangers. And it's funny because they do this old retro thing, which I can't stand any reprints from older years in any make, any card, in baseball, football. I hate when they reprint cards from other years. I hate it. No, leave it alone. But anyway, so in each box that I bought, wouldn't you know, I pulled the retro of Jose Batista. Same exact card in both boxes. So these are rare. Yeah, huh? So, there you go there. So, anyway. So, these are from 2002 Bowman Chrome, but I wouldn't you know, the retro card I pull is both Jose Batista. So, if anybody wants these, <laughs> I hate I hate reprints. I really do, uh, but that's my thing. Uh, I got another Chris Stratton, who this kid's going to be pretty good. Uh, did I say he was from the Orioles earlier? Yes, I did. I apologize for that. I'm sure I'll get corrected. Uh, he's from the Giants. A uh, quick look there. Looked like an Oriole uniform, but it's not. Um, it's the Giants. Uh, Chris Stratton. And this is uh, 199 purple refractage. So I got the purple one and the gold one. So pretty cool there. Uh, Mark Reynolds, uh, refractage. Uh, Michael Perez, refractage. Uh, Edwin Encar Encarnacion. Uh, this is the orange refractor, number to 25. This card's 15 of 25. Really like that. So that was nice there. Ian Kinsler Refractor. Oh, Sterling Castro. Uh, blue Refractor. This might have to find its way. Number to 250 into a Christmas package that's going to Chicago. Oh, really? Jake. Uh, I'm going to say this guy's name uh, wrong. Jake Orderizzi. Oda Rizzi, uh, Refractage. Uh, Mini in the other box. <coughs> Roman Quinn, shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies. Mini, Mini Refractage. Um, Vidal Nuno. Vidal Nuno, Purple Refractage uh, of the New York Yankees. Um, number to 199. 51 of 199. And then the third autograph I got. Um, Hak Ju Lee. Hak Ju Lee. Oh, Actually, I don't know. I'm speaking Japanese. Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> Godzilla. 
Goldzilla. Another Jeff Dunham reference. If you've seen the Jeff, is that from the Christmas one or is that from the other one? No, it's the other one. No, it's not the Christmas special. Uh, my kids are on a Jeff Dunham kick, and I got like eight, uh, three of the CDs that he has. Woo! And uh, they, yeah, we watch them quite often. So, uh, so that's autograph of him. That's not a refractor. That's just an auto. And the last two cards, guys. I got. Oh, I got another Chris Stratton. No kidding. What? I might as well do the rainbow now. Uh, Jaime Garcia. Uh, refractor. So let's see. What do I got for Chris Stratton of the Giants? Not the not the Orioles. Wow! I I I almost two boxes. I almost got the whole rainbow, Josh. Look at that. No wow. no kidding. I got the purple. I got the refractor. And I'm sure if I look up there, I got the base card because I didn't bring the base cards down here. Wow, that's pretty good, guys. For two What's boxes. That? Look at that. Gold. I got I got the refractor. I got to have the base up there. I bet you. So I got the gold. Uh, sorry for the glare. No, I'm not. Uh, refractage, gold refractage, and purple refractage. Woo! Wow, I might maybe I'll do the ref uh, rainbow. Wow, I didn't okay. know I even had all no, three of those. You the, you're trying to do the main, you've been well, try doing that with him. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to do. That'd be pretty cool. You know, always looking to, to do that, uh, do different sets and things like that. So, anyway, so we are done here. 22 minutes for the win. Woo! Holy shnikes, Josh, you just shit your pants. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. All right, so I will make one more video, I think, before Christmas, which is a week away. You're getting coal, so I don't want to hear it. Your big-ass lump of coal. Get her down. <laughs> uh, get up. Well, how do you fall down laughing? Now you're going to shit your pants. All right. All right, guys, so Puff Bear and the Josh Meister are over and out. Josh, say goodbye. <laughs> Kanishiwa. <laughs> what, Kanishiwa? What's that mean? I don't even know what that means. Bye in Japanese. <laughs> you really know that? Where'd you learn that? Um, let's think. Jeff Dunham. Oh, you did Kanishiwa. Kanishiwa. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, Puffer's over and out. Uh, I will talk to you guys hopefully before Christmas. I'm going to see if I can make another video before then. Um, I don't see why not. I got a ton more cards that you guys have not seen that I purchased. Um, and I got more coming in. I think that's what I'll do is uh, show you the uh, Bowman Sterling 25s I got uh, there, the Jumbos. Because, like I said, five or six more are coming in. And I did pick up some nice uh, Derek Jeter inserts. Um, and what else? Yeah, there's a couple other things that definitely be worth a while of making a Puff Bear 20-minute video. And for those that probably noticed, uh, this video I did not make on my stupid little 4S uh, iPhone. iPhone because... The picture is just terrible. It comes out thin like that and whatever. But So I'm back on my... Uh, tripod. What's this thing called? Tripod and camera. Yeah, what's my camera called? I forgot. My flip. Yep. My flip camera. So, all right, guys. Wow, we rambled there for two minutes, didn't we, buddy? I know. So, peace, love, and happiness to all my YouTube friends out there. My extended family. I call you guys. Um, yeah, Puff Bear's back in the game. I'm really crazy into cards again because uh, now I making time for it and uh just loving it uh you know it's funny i was looking on ebay today and i'm talking to myself and i'm like man i love collecting cards and i love looking at them and i love everything about this uh, hobby guys oh, yeah two weeks ago you just realized you have a lot of cards yeah funny thing me and josh walked in here two weeks ago and i <laughs> it's like I can't even, I don't want to show you, it's just it's just so messy you guys know everybody everybody that collects cards has a desk or a room you know, I don't care where it is in your house. It could be in your living room. It could be in your bedroom. And it could be in your basement. I just got stacks of cards, guys. Um, you probably have. You put a stack them. down, then you go get another stack, and you buy more, and you put another stack. I think I, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> just, just on this table. Hi, you my have at hi, least hi. Hold on, say hi. that again. Hi, my name's Puff, and I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm a I'm a card hoarder, man. This is crazy. I am. Um, and I, I and, and I'm an organized hoarder. I know. You know. Um, Re Re what really? Can you see this room? Oh, You're baby. You're organized. Okay, Dad. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll put that in your jokes. You know, nobody's even watching this video anymore because they're looking at nothing. Hello. Because we're just Corey, we're, we're rambling. Show more cards so they get Imagine bored. somebody, a deaf guy's trying to watch this, or somebody that uh, has, has no volume on their computer, and they're like, "What the hell is he doing for ten minutes?" <laughs> All right, anyway. 
All right, guys, now I'm going. <laughs> All right, guys, say goodbye, Josh. Adios. Bye. <laughs> Later. Deuces. Choos.